Hello, it's Gloria from Gigi the Crochet Queen and today's tutorial will be on the hat um, that you saw in the picture. I will be using this petal pink yarn. It's a red heart super saver jumbo. I can do several hats. Um, 744 yards. And the... This is for medium weight yarn and this hook size, recommended hook size is a five millimeter and that is the hook size I'll be using, the H5.0 millimeter hook. I take that back. That is not the hook size. The hook size, recommended hook size is 5.5 .5 millimeters, but I'm, I'll be using a five. That is for crochet needles. This is for, I mean, that's for knitting needles. <laughs> that's for crochet needles. And the other thing you will need for this tutorial is a pom-pom, whatever color you want. And this pom-pom, you can take a blow dryer and blow dry it and it gets really, really fluffy. But I won't be doing that. And you'll need a stitch marker. So... That's unless you are good at looking at your stitches, but I always use a stitch marker when I'm doing single crochet so I know exactly where I am. So to start with a chain of 31, and you want to do a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and I turn my chain over so I can work into the bumps on the back because it makes it look really nice. So you just want to do eight single crochets. That's one, two, three, four. six and seven eight now you want to do half double crochets across and until you have three chains remaining so I will meet you when we get to the last three chains so I have made my half double crochets across and that was a total of 19 half double crochets so you have eight single crochets on this end 19 half double crochets in the middle and now you want to do three single crochets at the end one, two, and three. Now you want to turn your work, chain one, and now we're working into the back loop only. So you want to do three single crochets, back loop only. So that's one. Two and three. Now you want to do your 19 half double crochets back loop only and the last eight single crochets back loop only. So I will meet you at the end of this row. So remember it's back loop only and you can make your starting chain whatever length you want but you'll have eight on one end of single crochets and three on the other end and the eight on this end will be the brim of your hat so i will meet you at the end of this row i have finished that row did my last single crochet back loop only turn your work chain one 
and it's again back loop only in the first eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now into your half double crochets, you are going to be doing front loop, back loop, not take that. You're going to be doing front post double crochets, back post double crochets, alternating. So we're at the first half double crochet. So you want to do a front post double crochet. And then back post double crochet and your next one be a front post double crochet your next one will be a back post double crochet and that will be your pattern for your half double crochets and when you finish your half double crochets, then you do the last three single crochets back loop only. So I will meet you when I finish this row. So I finished the first row, and not the first row, the third row actually, but the first row of the front post, back post, double crochets. And I just finished my last three single crochets. Turn my work, chain one, back post, single crochets on the first three. And then you will repeat your front post and back post double crochets so that's a back post so I will do a back post on the back post and a front post on the front post and you repeat that across and then you do back loop only into the last eight single crochets And I will meet you at the end of the single crochets. So this is what it should look like right now. These are your eight single crochets on this end and three single crochets on this end. Okay, so now that we've finished the front post and back post, now we're moving to the next round. And the next round is a repeat of the first two rounds, two rows, I should say. So you want to turn your work and chain one and do uh, back post and no back loop only do back loop only of your first eight single crochets so back loop only single crochet um the first eight and when you finish those eight then you want to do make sure you're I want to count to make sure I have eight. Yes, I have eight. Now on the post, you want to do back loop only, half double crochets across on all of the posts. And then when you finish those back loop only, half double crochets, then you want to do back loop only in the three remaining single crochets. 
So I will meet you at the end of this row. I have finished that first row of, well, not the first row, but we changed row, changed our pattern. So again, you want to turn your work, chain one, and do back loop only, single crochets in the first three. And now you are back to your half double crochets and you want to do back loop only into those half double crochets across and back loop only into your last eight single crochets. So back loop only half double crochets and then back loop only, hope I wasn't off camera, then back loop only into the single crochets. Then you repeat the row, two rows with the front post and back post stitches. And then you repeat two rows of your half double crochet stitches. And that is your pattern. And you alternate that pattern until you get it to the width that you need so that when you wrap it around the head, it is comfortable because you will be sewing it up. So you don't want it to be too tight. You want to make sure it's comfortable. And when it's sewn up, it'll still fit around the head. And it won't be too tight. So I am at the end. Now I'm going to do back loop only into the last eight single crochets. Single crochet back loop only. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is what your work should look like so far. So just repeat those two rows. Now you're going to be going back to your front post and back post stitches. Do two rows of that, and then you do two rows of the half double crochets, and alternate those rows until your hat is wide enough to wrap around the head, whatever head width that you are doing. And it'll have a little stretch, so when you put it on, it'll have a little stretch. And if it's too short, you can always measure another hat that you have made and get the right length, but when I did my hat, it this was the length, this was good for me. So I will continue on and you continue on until you have the length that you want. And I will be on when I get to my length. I should say my width. I have finished my pattern and I'm measuring it and your headband will have some stretch to it. So right now, unstretched, it's about 18 inches. And if I stretch it, it comes to about 20 and a half maybe. So You're definitely going to get some stretch with this. Now, what we do next is take your sides here and we are going to If I can get this right, we are going to sew up the sides using slip stitches. So 
So let's do a chain one. And go in to these and slip stitch to join. And you just want to line up each stitch, make sure they're all lined up, and just do slip stitches all the way down. And I will meet you when I finish sewing up this seam. And as you can see by me um, starting off into the bumps, I have the back bumps of your chain. I have perfect sides, um, my sides match. So instead of having that chain look to it, you get like your V stitches. So anywho, go ahead, sew up the back with slip stitches and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I finished um, stitching up the back of it and now you want to turn it inside out. And that is what it looks like. Go find my stitch. And now we are going to do some single crochets together. So you want to start here with one single crochet, and then we're going to do two single crochets together around. Yarn over, pull through one. Go to your next space, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. Again, so it's two single crochets together in this using this method. And I'm trying to crochet over that tail. Again, you go into a stitch. Yarn over, pull through one, go to your next one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three on your hook. And that is your repeat all the way around. So again, go into your loop, yarn over, pull through one, go to the next one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three and just repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I've made it around once and now I'm going to repeat what we did on the first round. So do a single crochet and then you want to do two single crochets together. I am going to put a stitch marker into that first single crochet since I didn't do a chain one and I'll know where it is. So again, you're just going to do two single crochets together. That is your pattern repeat all the way around. Two single crochets together. And I'll meet you when I get to my stitch marker. But this is the basic pattern. You're going to continue the same pattern until you have, you should end up with at least st six um, stitches remaining. And then that's when you can fasten off and then we're gonna sew it together and add the pom-pom so 
So I will meet you at the end of this round. I am at the stitch marker. <clears throat> I'm going to do a single crochet. And put it back on. And again, you're doing two single crochets together to close up that opening. And this should be your last round before we have to fasten off and sew on the pom-pom. So just go ahead and do your single crochets together. And I will meet you at the stitch marker. I just removed the stitch marker and do this last single crochet together and then I'm going to pull a long string I'm just doing extra long really don't need to be this long but I'm doing extra long better safe than sorry and tie that off uh oh I should have made my my chain one first let me go back in Okay, so now I am going to finish it off and chain one and pull through. Let me get my yarn needle and you're going to go around the openings. Of your stitches to close up that hole there so you're just going in and out close up so that's cinched up you can go under and make sure it stays closed so that's closed and that is what your hat looks like so far now we're going to put a pom-pom on it give it a little pizzazz okay so here's the pom-pom we're gonna go through this the loop that's on the pom-pom and you can sew your pom-pom on any way you know how to do it I'm gonna do it and just hope that I get it on and it's not wonky looking <laughs> so that is what you just want to get it on so it's kind of straight and I'm gonna just go ahead and sew this on the best I can because I am not good at sewing so I don't want to be a klutz on camera, but you go ahead and sew on your pom-pom, and when I finish, I will show you the end result. Okay, so I have finished my hat, and I put the pom-pom on, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I would love to see um, your work 
If you make this hat, please share it with me on my Facebook group or you can send me an email, tag me in your post on Facebook or Instagram. But this hat um, is not hard to make and it's simple stitches and you have a beautiful pattern. So until my next video, everybody stay safe, keep crocheting, bye bye.